Welcome to Signal and System playlist. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain examples on signal operations. So in previous session, I have explained few signal operations. Now in this session, I'll solve examples. So here in this question, x of n is given by this graphical representation, where x of n that is having this data at minus 4 it is 0, at minus 3 it is 0, at minus 2 it is 1 by 3, at minus 1 it is 2 by 3, at 0, 1, 2, 3 it is 1 and for rest it is 0. So this is what x of n data. Now here there are some cases that we need to solve. So first case that is to find x of n minus 4. So time delay that delayed one that is what we are dealing with to identify. Now see I have already explained this basic operation in previous session. So here I'll, so I'll be solving that with graphical explanation so it will be more clear. Now as I have told see x of n minus 4 means delay is happening. So let me explain first how we can solve that in graphical explanation. So if you have x of n and if you do delay operation so here if I say n minus 4 that we are doing in that case we need to shift graph in this direction. If you have x of n and if you do advancing means x of n plus 4 so you will have to shift graph in this direction. If you have x of minus n and now if you do shifting operation, let us say minus 4. So in that case, you will have to move graph in this direction. And if you have x of minus n and if you do operation x of minus n plus 4. So in that case, you will have to move graph in this direction. So this is what we need to understand first, like how we need to shift graph. So see, let us try to understand this. Like x of n minus 4 means by 4 position we need to shift this graph in this direction. So by 4 position means see minus 2 that has to jump at 4 position by 4 position so 1, 2, 3, 4 so it will get to plus 2. So the data of minus 2 that is 1 third so now that will be at plus 2 one third data of minus one now that will be at position three so that will that is two third data of zero that will be at four and which is one here data of one two three that will get shifted to five six seven see this is how we can have shifting and for other it is zero so that is how we can have x of n minus 4. Now let us solve few more cases. Now see here we are dealing with to identify x of n plus 2. So in case of advancing we need to shift graph in this direction. Right. So in case of advancing shift graph in this direction. So by two position we need to see this graph in this direction so this minus two data now that will shift to two position means one two means this minus two data that will be at minus four so at minus four it is one third at minus three now it will be two third at minus two it will be 1 and this 3 data now it will be in sequence so 1 1 and this one so that is how we can have this graph with time advancing so this is what graph shifting in previous session I have shown reference shifting right so reference shifting that will be in opposite direction like see here if you observe n plus 2 so in plus 2 means advancing graph is getting shifted in this direction 
but reference that is getting shifted in this direction right so this is where people are getting confused so in previous session i have explained reference shifting now here i am showing you graph shifting right so let us solve few more cases so it will be more clear so now see in third case we are doing folding operation means we need to identify x of minus n so for folding operation we need to reverse this data with respect to 0 so this data of 3 now that will get translated to position of minus 3 so this 3 is having magnitude 1 now that will get shift to minus 3 so here there will be magnitude 1 for x of minus n 2 that is having data 1 now that will get shifted to minus 2 position so minus 2 is having now 1 after getting fold 1 is having 1 data now that will get fold to minus 1 so it will be 1 over here 0 that position will not shift so this will be 1 only now minus 1 data that will get shifted to plus 1 and minus 1 is having 2 by 3 data so plus 1 that will be having now 2 by 3 data after having folding operation and this minus 2 data that will get shifted to plus 2 so now this will be one third here at plus 2 and rest is having 0 data so this is how we can have folding operation with respect to reference we need to fold this data right so minus 3 data will get to plus 3 data and plus 3 data will get to minus 3 data that is how we can have folding operation now here i'll be explaining fourth case like you have already folded version right now in folded version now we need to do minus n plus 4 so first we need to do folding and now we need to do n plus 4 so as i have explained see first folding that has to be done and after folding if it is minus n plus 4 in that case you will have to shift it in this direction so minus n plus 4 means now data that should get shifted in this direction which is folded one so folded data that is this now we need to shift this data by 4 quantity in this direction so this minus 3 data now if you shift it by 4 position means 1 2 3 4 so now minus 3 data that will get jumped to plus 1 data so now you will be finding this data will be over here so that is 1 now and now see 4 ones are there in series so 1 2 3 4 so that is how it is getting shifted and then 1 position that is having two third data now it will get shifted to fifth position that is having now two third data and this two position is having one third data if you shift that by four position over here so that will make sixth position is having one third data here so this is how and rest is having zero so i just mentioned it over here so this is how we can have this operation so one should remember this when you have time delay so in time delay, in time delay, we need to shift graph in this direction. In time advance, we need to shift graph in this direction. If it is folded one, like x of minus n minus 4. So first we need to have x of minus n and then shift that graph. So minus n minus 4 means you will have to shift that graph in this direction by 4 quantity. And minus n plus 4 means you will have to shift that graph in this direction with 4 quantity. Now let us have a few more examples based on signal operations. So here now see I need to do x of n into u of minus n plus 2. So what is u of n first of all? So u of n is what unit step signal and this is what discrete unit step signal. So discrete unit step signal that is having magnitude 1 starting from 0 and for other positive integer it will be 1 so for all other positive integer it will be 1 that is how u of n will be there now to get u of minus n plus 2 first we need to identify what is u of minus n so u of minus n is folded of this so folding will be 
with respect to reference so now one data zero data will be one but data of one that will get folded to minus one so you'll be finding it is happening like this right and in this direction u of minus n will be there and u of minus n plus two so it means you'll have to shift this u of minus n data in this direction by two quantity so data of zero that will be at now data of two so now you'll be finding u of minus n plus two that will be like this at two it will be one at one it will be one at zero it will be one like that is how data will be there right in this direction up to infinite this range will be one but in this direction it will be zero now right so this is what u of n minus 2 now our question is to identify x of n into u of n minus 2 so now multiplication that we need to do so x of n that we have already that is this right and u of n minus 2 that is this so by data we need to multiply this two so if you observe at minus 3 u of n minus 2 that is 1 but over here it is 0 so multiplication will be 0 into anything will be 0 so at minus 3 this data will be 0 now at minus 2 this is 1 and this is 1 by 3 so 1 into 1 by 3 that is 1 by 3 at minus 1 it is 1 over here with u of n minus 2 minus n plus 2 and over here at minus 1 it is 2 by 3 so 1 into 2 by 3 that is 2 by 3 at 0 both are 1 so over here it is 1 at 1 both data is 1 so I just mentioned it 1 at 2 this is 1 and this is even 1 so 1 into 1 that is 1 now see at 3 this data is 0 and this is 1 so 0 into 1 that is 0 so it will be 0 over here so x of n into u of minus n plus 2 that is this so here we have done all operations like see shifting folding and multiplication let us have one more case so it will be more clear like see x of n into del of n minus 3 del means impulse function so impulse function del of n that that is actually at 0 there is impulse and if it is unit impulse it will be 1 now del of n minus 3 means we need to delay this signal we need to delay this signal right so n minus 3 what it means n minus 3 means we need to shift graph in this direction by 3 quantity so from 0 now this impulse will be at third position so this is what del of n minus 3 now if you multiply x of n so you will be finding at third position it is 1 and over here at third position it is 1 for rest over here it is 0 so we just need to multiply this variable which is having magnitude 1 for third position right so at third position only data will be there and that is 1 into 1 which is 1 and for rest position it is 0 so this is what answer of this question i hope that by studying all those cases of operation of on signal you'll be able to solve problems in future with your examination Thank you so much for watching this video. You can give your valuable suggestions definitely based on it in future I'll make videos. So please give your valuable suggestions. Thank you so much for watching this video.